Welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick. Uh, look, sometimes in life, you don't always get to do all the fun motion graphics stuff. Sometimes you just need to do something boring, something a little bit unusual, something that just is fairly run of the mill. Now, your boss, they picture this, your boss comes in and he's like, hey, um, I don't actually believe that you went to Korea and had a good time with your friends for your friend's wedding. I actually want to see a slideshow presentation on my desk tomorrow morning uh, showing me what you did in Korea and your enthusiasm for this trip. If you don't show this to me, you're fired and you have no time to basically put it together. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. You got no time to put this slideshow together, but do, you do have the photos on you. So what are you going to do? Well, if this is the sort of situation that you're currently in, I have a tutorial just for you to show you how to put together pretty much a slideshow pretty quickly in After Effects. Now, it's pretty straightforward. It's nothing flash, but it'll get you out of trouble um, if you're looking to basically make a slideshow super quick and uh, you just can't be bothered keyframing every single little thing about it. It's got a little bit of movement on it. Um, super basic, but super effective, if I may say so myself. Um, all right, so let's get started. Now, I'm actually going to get started with a fairly... Uh, I'm, just, I'm actually just going to start a new project. So I'm going to delete all of this. And we're just going to start again, essentially. So new project. We'll start a new project. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, the photos. So I have a photo right here. Oh, pay no attention to any of that. Um, let's have a look here. We've got the images here. So don't, what I wouldn't suggest is clicking in here because once you click in here, it's actually going to import a JPEG sequence and that's not what you want. What you want to do is just import the folder and press OK. It'll ask you a few questions. Just go whatever, cancel. It just You just want to import the images. OK, there you go. Now we're going to make a new comp. Um, we'll make this well, let's say 45 seconds and we'll call this the easiest slideshow ever. And we'll go, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag all the images and we're just going to drag it in here. All right. So this next, next stage really depends on how long you want the photos to be on screen for. Now, two seconds is pretty good. In my opinion, if you just want to get a sort of generic slideshow, no, you know, if you're on a trading floor, you just need to put photos of your product or whatever, and you just want to kind of be scrolling forever. Two seconds is pretty good, unless you want to be three, but we're just going to pick two seconds for right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all our photos. We're going to select all our photos and we're just going to press option or alt and then square bracket. Sorry, curly bracket, close curly bracket. Um, and which is just above the return key. No, we're next to the uh, back, the backslash key. Um, now that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do next is go to, we're going to right click and we're going to go to transform and we're going to go fit to height. Now this is not to everybody's taste. I mean, you could do fit to width and uh, that's kind of a fun thing to do, but just from, just from experience, um, you can go fit to height. Oh, sorry, fit to, I said fit to height, didn't I? I meant fit to width. Fit to width, um, which is cool, but you're going to have a few photos, and I'll see if I can find one, one of the taller ones, where stuff gets st gets, starts getting chopped off. Um, was this one of them? Yeah, I think this is, might be one of them. Oh, no, this isn't one of them, but I'll we'll see if I can find one of the ones where, I think this is one of them. You can kind of see here, it's a tall photo, so a lot of the photo gets missed out. So if you want to kind of guarantee that all your photos are going to be in the shot, like the whole photo will be in the shot, then your best bet is to go, this is if you're really lazy, is go to fit to height. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't go back and re-fix those things. I'm just saying like, just for right now, let's just do that. All right, so once we've got everything fixed to height, let's press S for scale, and we'll set a keyframe for the first frame, like at zero. And let's go to the end. Um, I'm holding down shift so it snaps. And then let's just scale it up. And I'm going to hold down the command key for Apple, or I think it's control key uh, on uh, on PC. And we're just going to slowly slide these up. So we don't want them to move too much. So if you can kind of see how slow the motion is once I, once it plays back, um, it's very, very slow. It's just subtle. We just want a little bit of movement on there. All right, so let's select everything again press U to get rid of the keyframes, and let's press T to bring up the opacity. Now, 
I did a bit of experimentation. I think about eight frames worth of uh, eight frames worth of transition uh, from the frame next to from from frame to frame is pretty good. You could probably do even more if you want, if you want a really, really slow one, but we're just gonna do eight frames. So we'll set the second keyframe to eight frames, and then we'll set the first keyframe, and we'll, uh, we'll hit the, what do you call this? The keyframe button again, and then we'll set this to zero, and it should set all these to zero. Now let's just grab these. We'll copy, press Command C, or call it Control C, and we'll go to the end. Um, and we'll press Control V or whatever your paste command is on PC. Now this is actually this is just pasting this data here. So what we want is the reverse of this, so it goes the opposite way. So we'll go to Keyframe Assist and we'll go Time Reverse Keyframes. And once that is done, you can kind of see it'll just sort of start transitioning off. I'll actually turn the thing down because my computer is not happy with how it doesn't really like JPEGs, uh, high res JPEGs very much. So but you can kind of see it transitions to the next one, which is good. So what we're going to do is copy those keyframes and make sure you copy the rest of them and copy those keyframes to the rest of them. All right. Are we all, all, are we all together? All right, here we go. Now, here's where the magic happens. We're going to go and select everything again, bring it here, and then we're going to bring, we're going to grab the end and press hold shift as we do this, and we're going to shift it just about there. Right, just so this is the last keyframe. Actually, I'm just going to shift it just one more frame over. So it's run. So the the edge of the key, the edge of the uh, of the uh, picture is right on the edge of that keyframe. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to unselect everything and then reselect everything from the bottom up. And this is kind of important. Otherwise, this kind of doesn't really work. Now we're going to right click once everything's selected and go to Keyframe Assistant and go to Sequence Layers. And we're just going to go okay. Now what's happened here is it's basically made this little staircase for us, which is great. Um, that makes things really easy. And so all we have to do now is just drag while everything is selected, drag it, the tail end of the picture so that it matches. So it finally comes and fills in that last keyframe. That way we get that little nice fade between because if it's not there, it just sort of goes from that and then black and then fades in again, which is something maybe you want, but in, in the case that we're doing, we want to drag everything across so that we have a transition there. And that is almost it. What we're going to do is just go to the first the first image here, drag and just delete those keyframes. So we start with an image and then we'll go to the end image and we'll delete the last one here as well. And let's, uh, let's square this off. Let's press N to get the, to trim the area, the work comp work area. I was just pointing at the keyboard like you could see what I was doing, but I've obviously been teaching too many people with visual cues, but hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. And then we're gonna right click and go trim comp to work area. And voila, we have a slideshow that you created in a very short amount of time. This is how basic that is. Now, whether you like the pillar boxing on the side is completely up to you. And this is where we can kind of go in and tweak a few things if you like. Now, you're welcome to basically go through and uh, tweak the scaling of these things. I would suggest uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because uh, if you want to actually tweak the scale, it's not so simple as to just do this, unfortunately, because that will actually change the the way this thing scales is it does weird things like this. So what you might need to do, and this is a trick that I've kind of learned, is that you set a keyframe uh, here and then drag, grab, grab everything and then it'll scale all the keyframes relative to that one point. And then you can do that and that should actually fix that scaling issue. And there you go, it kind of, it kind of does its thing. It's not moving very much because it's scaled up so much, but it is moving. As you can see, it's just moving very slowly. Likewise, you can do the same for this one. We we'll can press S and we'll hit, we'll make a keyframe between. It doesn't matter where you put it, as long as there's a keyframe somewhere in there. And then drag everything, gra grab everything, and then hold, and then uh, just drag it up. Make sure you're grabbing everything so it scales relatively. You can also move the anchor point too. So you can press A if you don't like where it's focused, you can move the anchor point around. And so you go, okay. And that way it still scales nicely. Yeah, as you can see. Um, let's say that we decide to 
let's scale this. Let's move that. It's a pretty wonky shot, actually. I think it was taken out of the side of a bus. This was my trip to Korea, by the way. It was really fun. Um, all right. So now, if you are, if you can't be bothered doing that, and you don't have enough time, if you really are strapped for time, let's just say, and uh, you know you don't really want to go through and do that to every photo, which is I can completely understand. Let's just drag this into a new comp. So we've got this in the new comp. Um, this is my nasty cheap way to basically fix that issue. Find a photo that has the pillar boxing on it. My suggestion would be to scale it up until you kind of get that kind of nastiness. Um, you're welcome to basically turn off, turn on this, uh, what do you call the, rast the continuous rasterizing and that'll actually sharpen things up. Um, and you can pull this down a little bit maybe if you want. And then you can probably chuck a Gaussian blur just to kind of make it a lot less obvious that, you know, I mean, the world is your oyster really, but you can throw whatever you like on top um, to basically, you know, make it so that the photos in the middle are the focus, not the photos on the edge. I mean, we could even, I mean, we could do whatever we like. I mean, we could put a hue sat on there. I mean, we could just take, take the black and make it black and white, get it all moody. I mean, this is this is looking very Ken Burns, if I must say so myself. I mean, it's looking pretty dope. I mean, we could do whatever we like. I mean, we could even put a, we can colorize it even, um, you know, change the, the tint of it, give it a bit of a, I don't know, tealy look. That's a bit too tealy color. Sorry, I changed it. Oh, that's probably, there we go, there we go. A bit of a sepia tone. I mean, you could even go through and grade it, grade the whole thing. I mean... The world is your oyster, guys. There is limitless potential for what this is. Um, you're going to love it. It's basically, and now, now you have the weekend free to do whatever you like because you've got your slideshow done and you've saved your job. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anyway, guys, I hope that has helped you. Um, look, if, you, if you've got any ideas for tutorials or things you want me to help you solve, I can help you solve them, please. Give me a challenge. Give me something I can figure out for you because I want to figure that stuff out. I love figuring this stuff out and I would love to be able to help you figure stuff out. So uh, leave an idea in the comments, guys, and I'll see you next time.